So, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what's basically happened, what's been going on. Um, it's now May, and uh, I'm still in Kauai. I went, ah, ha, my leg's asleep, and now it's waking up, and it feels so weird. Um, anyway. So, went to Kalalau two times. First time was for, excuse me, for uh, 10 days. Second time was for almost three weeks. Coolest thing ever. Coolest thing ever. 11 miles in, so I've done 40, what's the shade? I've done 44 miles of that trail. But I've hiked all around in the valley. Oh, wake up, leg. Um, first time we were hiking out, um, it was February 21st, and that's when the woman got washed out to sea. She was from New York, like 40 years old or so, at Hanukkah I, which is at Two Mile, where most of the tourists will hike to, because there's a two-mile hike in, and there's a two-mile hike up to the waterfall, which I've never done. Because there's some pretty cool waterfalls though that were not in um that were in Kalalao. Um and uh we made it out fine. First time Anna, Dylan and I. Second time just Dylan and I. Uh, it was a great time, both times. Second time whew, I gotta eat some pork. Oh, uh, I can't even tell you what that pork did to me. That meat, I've never had meat do what that pork did to me. It was so good. It was so good. And then the goat I had out there, that was good too. And I had prawns. I didn't have any fish though, I don't think I had fish stock. But I just missed out on the fish. Um, it's crazy out there because you can't explain what happens out there unless you're there. And you seriously, people that come out of there that have been there, I mean, you have this instant bond with anybody who's not anybody, but for the most part, almost anybody that's ever hiked the, the trail, the Kalalau Trail stayed out there for some time not just for like a, a couple days but you know it's still it's a huge thing um but anybody that stayed out there for an extended period of time uh you have this glow like you look at the person and they have this glow it's like right behind their eye and it's like glowing forward it's, it's it sounds crazy but it's true they almost have this, like, every day I was waking up and I had, like, bed head, you know, that's how, like, that's how great it was, it was amazing, um, you find your inner, I found my inner warrior, I know that sounds kind of funny, but, um, yeah, I had to, it was kind of cool, uh, I didn't go anywhere without my machete, my knife. And I always had my backpack on me at all times. I liked it because it was felt like, like I was being hugged. My favorite things to do out there were to hike at night um, and to what else was it? To hike at night. Oh, and hike at night in the rain. That was awesome. Oh my god, uh, Dylan's in my last night there. You want to talk about awesome, the craziest, coolest hike ever. Um, I can't even, it, it, it's one of those things that it's just, <laughs> I mean, I felt like I was a toad <laughs> at some point. So I was like rock hopping and it was unbelievable. So crazy. Um, definitely a lot of memories. Definitely a lot of memories, for sure. Um, and 
then came out of there and stayed here with Kathy, who is the woman that I met in Pole Holly. Um, and uh, this island has been so wonderful to me. Um, it has served me on a silver platter. I haven't really, I haven't asked for anything. It's just all happened. So super long story short, I ended up going home to Maine um, to grab my computer and my belongings of some sorts and move back to Kauai because I fell in love with Outrigger Canoe Paddling. Um, a woman here, she told me about it. And I was like, oh, I've never done it. It's funny because growing up, I didn't like canoes. I didn't like them one friggin' bit because they were tippy. Um, <laughs> I'm not that graceful. Um, my balance is not really that great. Um, and yeah, so anyway, I remember I show up to my first practice. Um, in a, a bathing suit and a sarong because I'd been on the beach, you know, swimming. Um, and a chunk, like a big, uh, big chunk of meat, which is perfect because, I mean, it's funny, out in Kalalau, everybody knew second time I came in there. And I wonder if that's why I had so much meat while I was there. Um, I love meat and I need meat. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so I go I walk up and I got a big chunk of meat and I'm like, uh, they're like, oh, are you, have you pad you've never paddled before, huh? And I'm like, no, well, here, sign this waiver and all this stuff. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so they gnawing on a big chunk of meat like a dog. Um, and I, that day, I hadn't even... I hadn't even had my first practice. That was my first practice. But I had just gotten the job that I really wanted in Alaska. And I gave it up before even truly paddling. And I really wanted this job. I was going to work with Packers, who Dylan worked for. And I was so excited to work for them. I was like, this is going to be an epic summer. This is going to be the best thing ever. And I gave it up for paddling. But paddling is I haven't felt this way about not my photography I haven't felt this way um, about another man <laughs> so I won't let anything interfere with my paddling nothing um, and I'm glad that I'm I feel that way because <laughs> I love it so much um, and everybody that paddles is awesome. The other day, um, one of the girls asked me, called me up, and it was Thursday. She's like, Sarah, would you like to go paddle out to Kalalau? And I was like, <laughs> two things that I absolutely love, paddling and Kalalau. Are you kidding me? Yes. So um, I went out to paddle out to Kalalau. It's about eight miles out there, eight miles back. It was crazy. It was like doing a triathlon or a biathlon or whatever. No, yeah, a triathlon. Totally forgot about the swimming part. So um, so Katie and I were in the two-man canoe, and we were, you know, looking at the... We finally made it to Kalalau. We're looking at it, and we're like, hmm. She's like, well... I'm like, Katie, it's your decision. You know what you're doing. I'm just a novice. I'm a newcomer. I don't know what to do so your call so she's like well do you want to stay with the canoe or do you want to go swim in and I was like you, this is your baby um I'll swim in so I swam in swam into the beach and then I ran up the beach and the sand was like up to my half beyond half my calf um and then it was fine um, ran up the beach, ran up to um, Alikai's camp, and then um, asked if he had an anchor, which then I was kind of understanding, like, wait a second, if we have an anchor, how the hell am I going to get it out there? Am I going to put it on a boogie board? Am 
I'm gonna like have to swim it out there. I'm gonna like tie it on my back. I thought about that actually as I was swimming in to go get the anchor. But anyway, um, and then when I got there, I made up to camp, gave all kinds of hugs to all the people that I met out there that I absolutely love. And they're like, oh, you're still pad you're paddling still, huh? Should have known it was you. Great people. It was all like the man layer. All the women are, well, there's only a few women that I met that they're off probably doing their thing. But anyway, um, yeah, it was great. It was great. And then I ran back down and I swam back out to the canoe. And then I, um, what did I do after that? Oh, then Katie and I brought the canoe in. That was so cool. So we're bringing the canoe in and she's timing it all with the waves and everything and like the sets. And at the same time, she's teaching me, so which is really cool, because I don't know. I'm learning, so this is like dog sledding all over again to me. There's a lot of similarities, I think, um, to paddling and dog sledding. And uh, anyway, it was super awesome. Stayed, had lunch, got to see the solar eclipse, um, went back out. It was fun getting the canoe back in the water. Um, and that's about it. And then we um, canoed, we paddled back to uh, wherever we were, to the beach where we were at Tunnels. So it took us about an hour and 20 out and an hour and a half back. So that's not bad. And the seas were not rough, but... <sighs> oh. A little wish-washy, not too bad. But it was awesome. This is such a great time. I loved it. I want to do it again. I know I will. I raced on Saturday. Won it, but we lost it by 13 seconds, which is total, excuse me, bullshit. Anyway, we won. We all know we won. Um... So, I'm usually not a confrontational kind of person, and I don't usually, I don't know, we worked our asses off, we paddled our asses off, it's such a good job, all of us, uh -huh. and we won, I know we won, it's all a bunch of BS, anyway, so I'm gonna go now, it's almost midnight. And, um, I still have a couple things I need to do. <laughs> I'm a night owl, so don't worry about little old me. I'm gonna be okay. So, uh, peace out. Peace out, brown trout. I'll see you around.